Oh, you guys ever seen that movie, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? That's my favorite movie of all time. I know what you're thinking, what about Casablanca? What about Shawshank Redemption? What about these beautiful movies? Mm -mm. I watch How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days probably seven to 10 times a year. I love it so much. If you don't know what it's about, it's uh, Kate Hudson plays a uh, pretty lady. Matthew McConaughey plays a pretty man. And the whole thing is like, Kate Hutton's like, I'm gonna lose him in 10 days. And her friends are like, no, you're not. And then she tries real hard and that's what the movie's about. So she's trying to lose Matthew McConaughey in 10 days, right? And she does all this crazy shit. She brings a plant over to his apartment. She brings stuffed animals over. She does a funny accent. She's doing all this crazy shit, you know? And then she goes to her friend, she's like, I don't know what's happening. I can't lose this guy in 10 days. But every time I watch the movie and I see her do all this stuff, all I can think is, shit on the floor. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but don't get your baby voice, you just shit on the floor. I would be, I, I would honestly be the worst, like weirdest best friend in a movie. Cause she'd come to me and she's like, I did all this stuff. And I'd be like, do you shit on the floor? <laughs> I'm like, I would just try that. I mean, serious so. though. I mean, serious so. though. <laughs> I'm gonna make a short film called How to Lose a Guy in 16 Seconds. <laughs> And yes, I just gave away how long it takes me to shit. <laughs> I remember, uh, this is true, I was, uh, I remember uh, trying to buy booze before I was 21, which is always like a real, you're just trying to charm your way into it and no one gives a shit, but like I thought I was charming. I was in Yuma, Arizona, Yuma, Arizona, and I, uh, you know, got my beer, walked up to the counter, put it on the counter. The guy was like, where's your driver's license? And I was like, forgot it, you know, something stupid. And he was like, we check everyone. And he pointed to the sign and said, Yuma IDs. And I didn't know how to get out of it, so I was just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I thought that sign said, yum, AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yum, AIDS, positive spin campaign for terminal illnesses, no? Should work on the spacing of those letters, very confusing to me. <laughs> Love Halloween. I don't know if anybody else is into Halloween as much as I am. Love it. I think it's the best holiday. I think it should be the only holiday, frankly. I think maybe Christmas and Hanukkah, you know, for kids. But then Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Like 12 Halloweens a year. That would be a blast because you not, you don't have to like remember some sad shit. And also it's fun. And then you get to see what little boys are going to be gay. And that's fun. Uh, <laughs> But also, it's, it's, I don't know, everyone just has fun with it. There's a bar by my house that I go to, maybe all the time, and uh, the chalkboard on the wall says, uh, come to karaoke on Fridays. You know what it says in October? Come to karaoke. <laughs> That's exciting for me. That's fun. That's a pun. I'm fucking in. I love that shit. I just want to see them do that at really serious places, you know? Like, just walk in and have someone be like, hello, and welcome to the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but your son has spookemia. <laughs> We're having fun, it's Halloween. <laughs> Cheer up! <laughs> Why are you so sad? <laughs> oh no. I'm trying to figure out love. That is rough love. That is very difficult. Um, it's a lot to it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not good at it at all, frankly. I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. I think I'm getting better at it, but it's just, you don't have, uh, I like the wrong people. And I'm not about to say that, you know, I have bad luck or I, you know, oh my God, what, look at me with 10 shitty people in a row. I don't know what's wrong. It's me. I pick bad, I like bad boys. I like bad boys. I don't mean like a motorcycle in an earring that's a homosexual. I mean, <laughs> like, a fucking asshole. Like, you have two options as a lady, you know? I actually like to say, uh, I like to say that if I want to fuck you, that's not a compliment, it's a diagnosis. Um, <laughs> 